So um, the target audience for Connect Star Wars is absolutely everyone who loves Star Wars. There's a huge variety of people under that umbrella, you know? There are gonna be some core gamers who just really want to live out their Jedi fantasy and use that lightsaber and force powers, and they're going to really, really enjoy the Jedi part of the game. They're also going to see what Rancor mode offers them, where they get to be the Rancor monster and take down towns. They're going to be able to fight with duels, you know, fight in a, in a lightsaber duel against um, Darth Vader. But in introducing additional modes, you know, introducing things like our, our dance mode or parts of Rancor, we want to make it so that other members of the household can have fun with them. So I think our customer range is huge. I think that hardcore gamers are going to have a great game that they love when they play Jedi mode and have a full campaign, a full storyline behind that campaign that has lots of variety. So like they're piloting sp speeder bikes and in space battles in addition to you know lightsabers and force powers, they're gonna have a great experience that they want. And these other modes we've added to the game just add more breadth and more variety and more relevance to everybody. It's something that each game has to figure out for itself, of where does that focus need to be. In Connect Star Wars, you know, because it's such an action-oriented game, we really wanted to make sure that players could feel great about being the Jedi and have those big, grand gestures of using their lightsaber and using their force powers. But because this is very action-oriented, you need to have moments where you're allowed to just drop your arms and just be able to relax. Otherwise, it would be too fatiguing for a very long amount of time. So when you're playing through uh, the career mode of, of Jedi, when you're playing through that storyline, you're going to see moments where the uh, where cutscenes take over, allowing you to kind of rest your arms, or where you're guided, where the where the uh, player is guided from one area to the next. All that is meant to just make it a good, enjoyable, physical play experience that you're going to love and not be exhausted afterwards. <laughs> Well, I think based on what we have brought to market, you know, when we launched Connect, I think it's it's an understanding that people can say, ah, Connect is only for very casual gamers. But we, the reason we focused on casual gameplay first and foremost was we wanted to send that signal that Xbox is is for everybody. We want to make those games that are relevant to everybody. But as you, as you start to see now, there are more and more core games that have figured out great ways to use Connect. Um, I love to see what they're doing with Mass Effect 3, and I think that the use of, of voice to you know, interact with the world, it makes sense as part of the game, and it doesn't seem force fit at all. That's exactly the way that Kinect can be integrated into core games.